Hello, bat fans. Yogi Nature here. And it took a very, very long time for those LED filaments to arrive. But they're finally here. Very floppy, very flimsy. And very hard to control. Not on the voltage, but where, you know, you can glue that stuff you know because it's silicon but it glows like hell i mean really really cool stuff this is 30 centimeter and within the wheel here i uh, designed a contraption that holds a 13 and a half centimeter uh one where i've already uh inserted one that's one of those contraptions they simply poke through the holes and everything could have been a little bit bigger so i don't have something bulging out but believe me you won't see it and these are two three volt button cells and if i put them together oh man that's that's really bright so you there you can see it it looks like a neon tube and that's what I really like. Could I have used regular blue three or five millimeter LEDs? Absolutely. You wouldn't see a difference once the lid is on. But I kind of like the idea that having something that's um, like in the real uh, world Batmobile from back then, that it's neon and they used uh, neon uh, lights to light up the whole thing. Yeah, and that's basically it. The other three are on the printer. I think that looks cool. I mean, uh, that's what you normally see, you know, a bright lit thing. If you do that, yeah, you can see the, the hotspots, but it's barely visible in real life. You know, you see something like this. And that's how the how it looks when the chrome thing is on. You know, so basically that's ready to be glued on and there and then it can rotate. And those chromey rings get glued onto the side face of the uh, of the wheel. Very, very carefully not to glue everything shut and then it can rotate of course now everything is bendy a little and everything is uh, wobbly a little you know but hey theoretically it rolls fine and if i glue something shut accidentally i hope that at least the beds are staying horizontal and it will stay in position you know, most of the time anyway, so I don't care. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the next stuff I have to figure out um, how to route those 30 centimeter uh, LED filaments within here. I have tried it with one at the top. Don't have footage on that and down and a little and one down here up and there but i that gives good illumination from the top but not from the bottom uh, but i don't like it when um i don't like it when you see the light source you know it it has to be an indirect illumination i don't like to see it like I said, could have used uh, regular LEDs or those small SMD LEDs, absolutely. But I wanted to try out those LED noodles. Yeah. So, that's what I'm doing right now. I could glue everything together and it works, but I need to find the correct spots for the LEDs. And like I said, you know, those um, 
30 centimeter LED noodles. They are floppy. You can really bend them and they still light up. Ah. Yeah. Just to. Yes. Um, but you know, lying them in there and staying put in the corners and then inserting it. Ah, it's a, it's a pain in the popo. In the pain in the bottom. So, yeah. But that's absolutely how I am doing this. So I will finish all the wheels, glue everything together very, very carefully. So I know that works, you know, and yeah. That's basically where I have to uh, fiddle out the cables. Bum. Through that hole. Same for the front, isn't there, the, the, there it is. And once that's done, all the positives together, all the negatives together, six volt works fine. But when I have uh, four of those uh, LEDs together, I think the button cells from the power output, they won't cut it, so I need, um, I really like when I uh, shut, uh, uh, close this shut. I don't know, I think I will use some sort of a plastic sheet, you know, maybe styrene or something, uh, that I will use a um, pre-manufactured battery holder with a switch that uh, has those uh, four slots for AA batteries. So I can get my six volt out of that because you know, these are three full three volts, so I can run this with six volt. I can also run this with three volts, but then it wouldn't be as bright and um, barely noticeable. So six volt it is, no six volt, no problem. You just have to keep in mind the power consumption if you are running four of these uh, 13 and a half millimeters in addition to the 30 millimeters that will be in in the uh, engine bay area which i have to figure out how many and where to place it so that's uh very very fiddly can even remotely film while doing that because i need five hands <laughs> And I only have two of these, so yeah. But that's basically the update on uh, what's going on. And I'm very, very happy that that uh, the stuff with the wheels uh, works as intended. It's not like that I can give it a hui and it works, you know. It's not a toy, you know. I'm not a toy producer here. It's a model that potentially hey if someone would make a fairly decent representation of the forever batmobile as a toy you know something like uh, the 89 from what was the recent manufacturer for the 89 batmobile Ach, I, I don't know that that mcfarlane one you know what would that be what would that feature you know if it's would would be great you know something around in that line but um it's not going to be as robust of a toy as if it would be a mass produced one you know so that was my goal you know of uh, a one off a prototype you know something like that if you know what i mean if that makes sense so that's it for today and in my next video i hope i can uh, show you some more progress on the engine and by the way while i was waiting for the led filaments i was uh, uh, working on the computer uh, and 
print a mock-up of the inside which is very very slim so uh no interior design just the outside proportions hey would it fit it would so um but i think uh it is very very fiddly to align everything i mean here's the the cutout for that and there you see the hole where the filament uh, the led noodle runs through and yeah the interior is uh not that important as of now important is how it looks on the outside and uh, once i have got that working i have to do measurements and uh, update that see if that fits and if i have something that that fits on the outside you know i can go in there and uh, model uh, the wheels uh, and the all all the interior and then basically just slide it in from the bottom glue it shut and done at least that's a plan and from experience i can tell you absolutely it's not going to work that easy so um <laughs> Yeah, that's basically it as for now. So, uh, see you. Bye.